Today I'm gonna to be watching the top 10 worst rated Netflix movies of all time according to the Rotten Tomato reviews. After each movie, I'll be deciding if the film critics were right or if these Netflix originals actually deserve a thumbs up instead. Let's check out the first film. Okay, so right off the rip, I've got to go ahead and agree with the critics. I just found this movie super hard to get into. It's probably because I don't like movies that are dubbed to English. If they're filmed in a different language and someone's doing voiceovers, I just... I, I can't get into it. I, I don't know why I find myself getting distracted by looking at the people talk and it's just not for me. So I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down. Your husband's here to see you. Hey, what happened? I mean, how did I get here? Jennifer, you were in an accident and you hit your head. You don't remember me, do you? I know your name. I'm Russell. It's really nice to meet you. This is really our house. It's been in family for a while. It's so quiet. It better be. The nearest neighbor's over a mile away. Only a mile? This is Detective Page. I was wondering if your wife would come down to the station tomorrow at 11 to talk about the accident. What's tomorrow at 11? I overheard you outside on the phone. I was work calling and wondering when I was coming back. Russell? There's someone in the backyard! So I think I'm gonna head into town today. You gonna be okay? I'll be fine. I feel like I just need to take a look around. Maybe something will trigger my memory. Don't overdo it. Since Jennifer had no ID, how did Russell prove he was her husband? It says here that he showed some family photos. Jennifer and Russell? That's the happy couple right there. You're under my skin. But that's Russell. Who's that? I what did you do to my husband? This was no accident. All I have ever wanted is for you to love me. So I've actually seen this movie before and I like it. I'm actually a fan of this movie. I thought that it was very well put together and had a really good storyline. It's suspenseful, it's dramatic. The actors did a phenomenal job. It's got a very mysterious plot full of twists and turns. And overall, I think it's a good movie. So I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs up. I'm 21 years old, and here I am with my dream job at the New York Post. Gross. Why are you smiling this early in the morning? It's unnatural and disgusting. You look ridiculous. Santa! You're gonna interview that creepy senator. You'll have a Thursday night. I know I will, because I can always count on you. I had my whole life in front of me. Happy birthday! And I had absolutely no idea what was waiting for me. You gotta get your ass in here. You're gonna miss the 10 o'clock meeting. I feel really sick. You know, my head hurts. My stomach hurts. And my, my hands numb. And I've never felt this before. We've tested Susanna for every infectious disease. All of the results are negative. We're gonna get to the bottom of this together. Her EEG is completely normal. Her MRI is normal. Her neurological exam is normal. It's all normal. Her condition continues to regress. Manic behavior, paranoia. Each of them is giving us a different diagnosis. One is saying bipolar, next one is saying schizophrenic, then they're saying psychotic. We should look at hospitals that are better equipped to deal with her. Just take the pills. She needs all of us. We will find the answer. Her life is in your hands. Tell me what is wrong with my daughter. You must be the famous Susanna. I'm scared. I know she's still in there. She's just trapped. 
I promise you. I'm going to do everything I can to find you. No, no, God, no. Time is of the essence. We are losing her. Now this one had a very interesting hook to it in the beginning. The only thing I didn't like about it was in the beginning when the boyfriend did not say happy birthday to Susanna as soon as he came up to her. Actually, I don't think he said happy birthday to her at all. That's just pretty f***ed up in my opinion, you know? I mean, that's your girlfriend. You should definitely say happy birthday when you see her. Other than that, it really did a good job of capturing my attention. I really like that it's based off of a true story and that they're trying to bring awareness to a good cause. It had a happy ending and it was just overall a pretty good movie in my opinion. So this one gets a thumbs up. We're all here trying to get a fresh start. Nothing like bad happened here, right? You moved into the house of death. Everyone says it's haunted. No, 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 don't go! I miss the nightmare! We have a ghost. Okay. No, I'm serious, Kevin. Caught him on camera. Oh, we gotta show mom. No, 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 no. The entire world is captivated with Ernest. Three million views in six minutes. That's money! Our whole street's kind of bad, thanks to you guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not funny. I'm Kevin. That's so trippy. Can you talk? What happened to you? You don't remember? <laughs> Mystery. If we're gonna find out what happened, it's out there. It's Orders to apprehend the ghost. Light him up! Yeah. Being an outlaw suits you. Where's Ernest? We have a ghost. I mean, it was a wholesome family movie. It wasn't really like a horror movie. It's more of like a kid's movie. Um, I think they did a good job with it overall. It's very wholesome and suspenseful. There was a pretty good plot to it. The actors did a nice job. I like how they incorporated YouTube into it. Clearly, I'm a big fan of the platform. So yeah, no, overall, this movie gets a thumbs up for me as well. school. Ninth grade pants and 11th grade body. Perfect. I'm Elle and that's my best friend Lee. Oh, is that the wrong color? Oh. We've been besties since the day we were born. How have we stayed so close? We have a set of rules. Like rule number two, never tell anyone else our secrets. Or rule number nine, Lee's older brother Flynn, he's stupid hot, but totally off limits. When did you get the boobs? Oh, and rule number 10, <laughs> never ever break rule number nine. What an ass. I know. You got a little bit of drool right there in the corner. Right here? Yeah, yeah, you Do I really? Yeah, you <laughs> Student Council is expecting our idea for the fundraiser today. Kissing booth! Would Flynn be working in the kissing booth? Absolutely! Flynn will be there. I promise. Flynn's still doing the booth. So, will you work the kissing booth? Absolutely not. That's awesome. You have zero experience with guys. You've never even had a boyfriend. Whatever. Maybe we should How about a ride? Where's your car? What? I'm not gonna get on that thing like one of your makeout girls. They don't all make out with me. Okay, so like 95% of them make out with me. It's too late for us to turn back now. I think you gotta text. I'll see who it is. Okay, I got it. Why is it from a boy? I decided I had to see you. Here I was thinking I was just your brother's annoying best friend. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> Is there something going on between you two? Nobody can know. 
At least until I tell Lee. For me, there was nothing more important than following the rules. But in life... Step right up, ladies and gentlemen! You can either follow the rules... or follow your heart. The Kissing Booth. Yeah, I wasn't too excited to watch this one, and I was even less excited to know that there are three parts to the series. It wasn't good, okay? Uh, it just wasn't, all right? It had kind of like that Taylor Swift love story vibe. It's a, it's a sappy kids movie. I mean, I don't know. It's just, you know, if that's, if that's your thing, then watch it. Watch all three parts. I'm not gonna. I didn't even want to finish the first part. And on top of that, it was just kind of weird. Watch it, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, thumbs down. Three. 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 Morning, beautiful. Two. 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 I'm getting sick of only seeing you on a screen. One. 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 Please, God. <laughs> Be on our side. Standing by for your go. Turn that shit on. Fingers crossed. The earth, it's gone. It's big, blue, full of angry people. Keep looking, you'll find it. My God. The Cloverfield Paradox. I'm usually a little iffy on movies like this, like with the whole like outer space astronaut type deal. I just don't like the fact that you're usually just looking at somebody in a spaceship the entire time. This was not like that. I feel like this one was a lot better put together and a lot better executed. It's probably not something that I would recommend for other people to watch, but I didn't hate it. I'll give it a thumbs up. Why not? I'm so sorry for barging in. You're in luck, darling. I've worked on many a bite out here. Let me help her. This is crazy. None of this makes sense. I think we almost lost her. What was done for your daughter doesn't come cheap. Your little girl was spared. And now you owe a life in return. Or her soul is ours. You only have it to sunset. You best get a move on. Soul can be any one of your choosing. But it must be human. You out to end someone. I can see it in your eyes. Rattlesnake. I'm not saying it was a bad movie, okay? Like, it's probably not something that I'd ever watch again, to be honest, and it's probably not something that I would have ever watched if it wasn't for me making this video, but it, it wasn't bad, okay? Just maybe not for me, you know? I watched it all the way through. If I wasn't making this video, I probably would have clicked off within the first like 30 or 40 minutes to be completely honest though. So yeah, thumbs down on this one too. Some real things have happened lately. I want to know why. The reporter with a moral compass. Always a step ahead. Everything that happens, she's sourced up and in print. These people are starting to move surplus arms to Contras. We can't just look away. Ocean shipping crates for M16s, most likely. 
Who's the old man? Dad. Ellie. I got a big deal coming. The big deal. My dad is into something. I'm gonna come down there. Don't. I wanna track it from this end. Purpose of your visit to Costa Rica? Vacation. Looks like you're waiting for somebody. I think you. Everything is here. This whole operation's gonna blow up in somebody's face. You boys figure it. No one's been able to get a read on this guy. All we do know about him is when he shows up, it's usually the end of something, not the beginning. Where do you find this? Woo! How did you find me? If you had to pick a reporter capable of tracking a load of munitions in South America, wouldn't you pick you? Think you're gonna get very far? Get out of the car. You could have got on a plane and left this place. In a perfect world, we make perfect choices. In the real world, we make real choices. The last thing he wanted, you know, this one was kind of interesting to be honest with you. Overall, I thought it was a very well put together movie. It was suspenseful and intriguing. I, I, I liked it, you know, I was a fan of it. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs up. Why did it take you six months to address us? Where have you been? It seems to me that I, I invite you here to my home. We only received that invitation after the suicide toll had rapidly reached a million. Don't you think your discovery was just too dangerous to share with the world? Isla! Can you keep a discovery so vital to our existence a secret? You proved the existence of an afterlife. I prefer to call it a new plane of existence. Do you feel responsible for all those people killing themselves? We opened the door for these people. Now we have to show them what's behind it. The discovery. Eh, eh. It could have been better. Really, like, that's, that's all I have to say about that one, to be honest. Like, it could have been a lot better. Like, I'm not saying the idea was <laughs> but they could have done so much more with that movie. So just, yeah, thumbs down. Did you hear that? Is someone out there? Help me! Help me! Cal? Becky! Something's not right about this. I think we should head back to the road. Becky? Travis? Who are you? What's going on? I came looking for you. What? How did you get here before us? I don't know. My boy, he's lost in here too. This is nuts. It's only a feel. What's happening? He went the other way. No! I'm never gonna find her. <laughs> you can find things. But it's easier once they're dead. How long have we been here? I'm not sure. That sounded like me. This field doesn't make any sense. I can name one thing in here that does. Just chance. We're all here for a reason. Becky! 
In the tall grass. To be honest, it was a little bit confusing at first until you really started to get into it. But overall, I, I feel like it had like a classic horror movie kind of vibe to it, which I really like personally. I'm a big fan of stuff like that. It, it's very original. I'll, I'll give that to him. It was a very original movie. And I think that it was well put together. I think that it was executed very well. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this movie. Last but not least, I'm gonna have to disagree with the critics and give this one a thumbs up. So I guess the moral of the story here is, never judge a book by its cover. You might just discover a hidden gem. Or something that really sucks. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.